1990 on a H Volkswagen Golf GTI. It's kind of the perfect looking GTI for me. Tornado red, three door, big bumper with the RA wheels still on it. The proper size tire. It's not been messed with or modified. It's not slammed or on silly wheels. A um, couple of little tweaks. It does have these uh, very, very nice, high quality crossed headlamps in there, um, which if we go in the boot, I believe the, uh, the original ones are in there. So if you want to put the car back to its original headlamps, they're in there. The proper Heller ones are in there with the glass fronts. So you can change them back, but they do quite look, look quite good on those, on those aftermarket ones. Other than that, a really, really lovely standard example of a Golf GTI. Mark II, obviously three door, like we said, tornado red. We're gonna start by having a look at the bodywork. Then we're gonna have a look at the interior and go for a cold engine start up. It's usually one of the cleanest ones I've seen in a long, long time. If we start on this driver's side and look down the, the, uh, the side of the car. You can see it's lovely and straight. It's not full of ripples or filler. That body line here going all the way down is nice and crisp and sharp. It's not sort of rounded off because it's thick with filler or anything like that. Lovely and tidy on that driver's front wing. On the top where it normally gets chipped up and scratched is all nice and clean. Around the arch is all very good. The arch itself sits nice and straight. These are not dried out and caked in back to black or anything like that. See inside that arch is all lovely and tidy as well. Like I said earlier on, it's on the correct original BBS RAs. Coming down this side, apart from a little bit of leaf that we've managed to miss, we'll ignore that. You can have that for free. This section here where you want to check for any rust and corrosion coming through, you can see is very good all the way along. Gar has had a recent paint job, but it's been a very nice job. All the uh, seals have obviously been out and done properly because there's no overspray anywhere like that. All your windows are stamped up correctly with the reg going all the way around. Moving down this side, you can see it's all nice and straight on the driver's door. No marks around the handle. The, uh, the stainless bit of trim here normally goes a bit horrible. This one's all very good. Around the wing mirror again, nice and tidy. One or two very, very minor stone chips, but generally very, very good. All the plastic trim down this side sits nice and straight. And again, that's not dried out and caked in back to back. The uh, jacking points on both sides of the sill are there and present where they should be. Can have a look underneath from here. All nice and neat and tidy under there. You can have a look forward. It's been parked here for a little while. It's not dropping any fluid on the floor or anything like that. All the seals are nice and soft. They're not dried out or cracked or anything like that. Around the sunroof is lovely and tidy. There's no sign of any stone chips on the front edge here. Rest of the roof. It's lovely and smooth. If we're being picky, I would say it's had a cover on there. You can hear the paint's not dry. It's all lovely and smooth, but there's the odd very light. In fact, you can't even see them on the camera. Maybe one there. Very light swirl that a good polish would get rid of really, really well. All the glass down this side, nice and clean and bright. It's not scratched up. Like I say all the seals are good. Around the filler cap, nice and tidy. And again, that's a good sign of a paint job that it's not caked full of over spray and, and, and mask lines in there. They haven't gone over the stickers or anything like that. Coming back up this side, again, all lovely and straight. Round this arch here, nice and neat. Inside the arch, if you get your hand in that lip, you can feel it's sharp all the way around. Another good wheel and tire. And then coming around at the back, one of the areas you always want to check on these is the scuttle at the front, and you want to check these seams down the back. And as you can see on this one, lovely and clean all the way around. Down behind the bumper, you can see it's nice and straight. It suffers from the usual VW this era where the stainless sort of finish on the front of the barge is sort of washed off ever so slightly. It's sort of a little bit faded here and there. Probably leads me to believe that's the original barge. That is me being particularly picky as well. I quite like that, but it's very easily rectified and we are missing the VW badge. You can see where it's previously been, but you can't see behind it. It's all nice and clean and tidy. I'm guessing after that paint job, it hasn't been put back on properly. It's just dropped off. That rear bumper, all lovely and clean and tidy on there. You've got the uh, tow eye cover on the right hand side. That's nice and neat. All the plastic section is good. Underneath there, you can see all nice and tidy in there as well. Rear, rear screen stamped up. It's in the correct heated screen. The seals are all nice and neat. This spoiler, these normally get sun faded and cracked. This one's all good. And it's got the correct satin black stripe around the outside as well. Coming on to the passenger side again, lovely and straight all the way up. Those body lines are nice and sharp. They're not smoothed off or anything like that. Another good wheel and tire. 
inside that arch. Again, all nice and neat. Around the windows on this side, the seals there, all good. We're stamped up where they should be. If we look back down this side again, all nice and straight. Nothing much to whinge about at all. Jacking points are all there, the plastics are all there, all lovely and neat. If we're being slightly picky, the, uh, the stainless is done the same as the barge on this side, so that's a little bit faded. Um, but actually the nice thing about these is you can buy pretty much every part for them still as well. All good around the, uh, the wing mirror. Nice and neat on this section. There's not a sign of any bubbling or anything coming through there. Not thick with paint. All very, very good. And then coming up the A-pillar onto the top. All lovely and neat there as well. Driver's front wing. Nothing to whinge about there at all. All very good. Another good wheel and tyre. Even the inside of the plastics normally there. Caked with stone chips. These are all good. And then round onto the front. Front bumper it sits nice and level. The lower half is all neat. That black plastic skirt on the bottom can normally be a bit sort of frayed and fuzzy from catching curbs and things, but as you can see, that one's all good. And I did mention, obviously, we've got the original headlights in the in the boot. If we're being double picky, A, it's got a 16-valve badge on it, easy enough to change back, um, and it has the red line, the iconic red line that lets you know it's a GTI is slightly faded. If it was me, I'd renew that, because that's sort of the iconic bit of the car, isn't it? And then onto the bonnet, it's lovely and straight, very, very smooth, the paint has been well polished, it's not dry, really, really like glass. So overall, very, very good looking, well cared for car on the outside. Moving on to the interior, nice and neat on that driver's door card. All the door shuts are good. Carpet sets nice and dark, the heel pad's not worn out. Driver's seat, arguably could do with a good detail in here. A um, little bit dusty, has been parked up for a little while, but it's all, con all intact, all the beading's nice. None of the fabric's damaged. Steering wheel has a little bit of wear on the outside edge, but when you consider the mileage is 169,000, I would say overall that's very, very good. On the top of the dash, all nice and neat. We do have a Kenwood aftermarket stereo. Normally these buttons can sort of fade and go a bit white, but actually on these ones, as you can see, they're all very good. Coming down that center console, you've got the correct original golf ball gear stick. The, uh, the little selector label is missing, but you can buy those new, so that's not the end of the world. Moving into the back. Again, lovely and neat in there. They don't look like they've been sat on hardly at all. All nice and neat on the uh, back of the driver's seat. It's not sort of kicked out or abused or anything like that. Headlining is very, very good. Lovely and neat all the way along. On the sunroof, all nice. Sun visors are good. Obviously been a very well looked, for, look, looked after car. Moving into the boot. And again, you want to look at the underside of the boot lip here. No sign of any corrosion coming through. That's all good. Down here on these seams, on both sides, all lovely. Like I pointed out, we've got the original headlights in there. Um, and there's a, we've got original spec indicators in there if you want them. Carpet set's all nice and neat in here. In the boot, that's all lovely and clean. Original stickers are still there. No sign of any corrosion coming through on that seam where you can normally find it. And the plastic trim in the boot, all nice and neat. And we don't even have a uh, speaker cut in the parcel shelf. It's all intact as it should be. Moving up to the front passenger side. Lovely and neat on that door card again. All nice and tidy on the, uh, on the carpet set there. All good on the seat as well. These are nice and firm. They're not sort of saggy or collapsed or anything like that. The beads are good. Fabric itself is lovely and clean. No nasty smells in there, no sign of any moisture or smoking or dogs or anything like that. You have to excuse some dodgy camera work while we get that bonnet pinned up. You've got that eight valve GTI engine. Could do with a, a good detail in here, it is dusty. Um, it, would, it would be worth doing to bring it to the side of the rest of the car. Strut tops and everything around there, all good. All the plastic trim is there along the scuttle. Along the front here is nice and neat. On the battery tray. Doesn't look to have rotted away like it normally does. But like I say, a good detail would make a big difference in there. Well, uh, we'll fire it up. Firing up on the button, give it a little rev. It's nice and smooth, nothing nasty coming out the back.
again taking over nice and smooth nothing nasty coming out of there i did show you earlier on but i'll show you again it's been parked here for a few hours nothing dropping on the floor underneath so there you have it 1990 on a h three door big bumper tornado red mark ii golf gti if you've got any questions at all please get in touch thank you